So when the, you know, chief of the investigation said, you know, even there's some, you know, the coke is influence reaches even to the end, to their investigation unit, meaning that, you know, some people are, they're siding with the Kuga or they're under the payroll or something. When he said that, I knew that something was up. And come to find out later in the episode that um, the one that was working with the Kuka was actually the second, the captain of the second division. Um, obviously, I forgot his name, but I just knew. And, you know, with that video proof or something that he did bring to show them in order to arrest the Iga village chief. I knew that it was somehow tampered with and um, you know, towards the end you can see that the actual captain you know, is reviewing the, the evidence that was brought in and you know, as he's looking he, he sees that it's been you know, tampered with or something like something's not right but right before he could tell anyone or even say what it was he got stabbed in the back by, um, you know, the second division captain. And he just said, you know, that the Iga, you know, killed the Kuga or something, the chief. So even without proof, he still stands by that. And I just have a feeling that even though it's implicated that um, the second division captain did end the life of the chief I feel like towards the end or something I feel like he'll the chief will turn out to be alive he'll just have like that stab wound that he got earlier but yeah I just feel like his he, he has to be alive because we didn't really see that body or anything but um overall I'm very um I was very fascinated to see you know all the nin all the leaders, the ninja leaders, and you know their background and what do they do now? So I found that part very interesting. You know, just seeing different backgrounds of uh, the ninja that were there. Um, also, I forgot to mention towards the end that it seemed like their their they guys kind of preparing for war like. Um, I just feel like they're, he is preparing for the worst case scenario, so in case that the Kuga do wage war on the Iga, um, you know, I guess he wants to be prepared, so he gathered everyone, and he basically told them that, you know, there might be a war, or he subtly said that, that Oh, there might be a war, so just, you know, prepare yourself for that. And one thing that I kind of found, find interesting is that even though they're going to go to war, I just wonder what the blonde-haired girl, what she's going to end up doing because um, even though she is working with the Kugan, you know, sending the Kugan information about the Igas, you know, um their booby traps or something I feel like towards the end she'll kind of step up and ultimately just side with the Iga but um yeah it'll just be interesting to see um how this all ends up being you know what they end up doing but um yeah overall pretty solid episode I'd say it was you know an interesting episode and you know I didn't mind I enjoyed myself watching it, but um, yeah, that's going to be enough for me. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts, and thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.